Can you really fatten cattle fast, like in only 90 days? I'm diving deep into proven strategies for rapid weight gain in Hereford beef cattle, from feed schedules to environment tweaks. If you want better gains without waiting months, this video is your blueprint. Don't blink. Hello, fellow cattle enthusiasts, and welcome. That 90-day window we just talked about, it sounds almost like magic, doesn't it? But I promise you, it's not magic. It's science, strategy, and a deep understanding of what makes these animals thrive. This isn't about taking a small calf and making it market ready in three months. That's not realistic. This is about the finishing phase, taking a well-grown steer and in a final 90-day push, maximizing its weight, its marbling, and its overall value. So how do they do it? Let's break down the blueprint step by step. First, and this is the non-negotiable foundation, you have to start with the right raw material. It all begins with genetics and health. You cannot fatten an animal that is genetically predisposed to be lean or one that is fighting off parasites or disease. It's like trying to build a skyscraper on a swamp. Think about the Hereford cattle mentioned in the intro. They are known for their excellent feed conversion and their ability to put on weight efficiently. Choosing the right breed or the right crossbreed for your goals is step zero. Before that 90-day clock even starts ticking, your cattle need a full health checkup. This means they should be properly dewormed, vaccinated, and free of any respiratory issues. A healthy gut is a profitable gut. Internal parasites steal nutrients directly from the animal, meaning you're paying to feed the worms, not your steer. Have you ever felt like you're pouring feed into an animal with little to show for it? It might be time to review your parasite control program. Getting this right before the intensive feeding begins sets the stage for every bit of grain to count. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, the feed. This is where the 90-day transformation truly happens. The goal is to shift the animal from a diet based mostly on forage, like grass or hay, to a high energy diet based on grains. But, and this is critical, you cannot do this overnight. Doing so is the single most common and most dangerous mistake a producer can make. A rapid switch to a high grain diet can cause serious digestive problems, like acidosis, where the rumen's pH level drops dangerously low. This can put an animal off its feed for days or even be fatal. And the worst part is that almost no one realizes the damage they're doing until it's too late. The key is a gradual transition. Let's break the 90 days into three phases. Phase one, the first 30 days, is all about adaptation. You'll begin slowly introducing the grain-based ration, mixing it with their familiar forage. You might start with a mix that is 70% forage and 30% concentrate, or grain. Over two to three weeks, you will gradually decrease the forage and increase the concentrate. You're teaching the rumen, that amazing fermentation vat inside the animal, how to handle this new energy-dense food source. During this phase, you are watching your cattle like a hawk. Are they eating eagerly? Is their manure consistent? Their behavior tells you everything you need to know. Phase two, from day 31 to day 60, is the rocket fuel phase. By now, your cattle should be fully adapted to the high energy ration. The mix might be as high as 80 or even 90% concentrate with just 10 to 20% roughage to keep the rumen healthy and functioning. This concentrate is typically based on high energy grains like ground corn, barley, or sorghum. Corn is the king of energy for fattening cattle. But energy alone isn't enough. You also need protein to support muscle development. This usually comes from sources like soybean meal or cottonseed meal. A typical finishing ration for a Hereford steer will target around 13 to 14% crude protein. Think of energy as the fuel that builds fat and marbling, while protein is the building block for the muscle itself. It's a delicate balance, too little protein and gains will suffer. Too much, and you're just wasting money on expensive feed components that the animal doesn't need. In a moment, I'll explain the single most overlooked nutrient in this entire process. But first, let's talk about that final month. 
Phase 3, from day 61 to day 90, is the finishing touch. Gains might slow down slightly, but this is where the magic of marbling happens. Marbling, those little flecks of intramuscular fat, is what gives beef its flavor and tenderness. You'll maintain the high-energy diet, ensuring the animal is consuming as much as it wants. Consistent full feed bunks are crucial here. This is not the time to run out of feed. An animal that goes hungry for even a few hours can be set back for days now. For that overlooked nutrient I mentioned, it's not a grain, it's not a protein supplement, and it's not a fancy additive. It's water. Clean, fresh, abundant water. A finishing steer can drink over 20 gallons of water a day, especially in warm weather. Water is the highway that transports all those valuable nutrients around the body. It's essential for digestion, temperature regulation, and every metabolic process. If a water trough is dirty, or if the water is stale, cattle will drink less. And if they drink less, they eat less. It's that simple. Have you ever checked your water troughs at the end of the day? The difference between a clean trough and a dirty one could be pounds on the scale. We also can't forget minerals. Think of minerals as the spark plugs in the engine. Your high-performance ration is the fuel, but without the spark plugs, the engine sputters. A good free-choice mineral mix with the right balance of calcium, phosphorus, salt, and trace minerals like copper and zinc is absolutely essential. It supports bone health, immune function, and the efficient conversion of feed into beef. Finally, let's talk about the animal's environment. You can have the best genetics and the perfect feed ration, but if your cattle are stressed, you are losing money. Stress is the enemy of weight gain. When an animal is stressed, its body releases a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol tells the body to burn energy and fat, not store it. It's the anti-gain hormone. So what causes stress? Overcrowding. Not having enough bunk space for every animal to eat at the same time. Muddy, dirty pens. Lack of shade in the summer or protection from wind in the winter. And of course, aggressive or loud handling. A low stress environment where cattle feel safe and comfortable is a productive environment. For small producers, this is a huge advantage. You can manage your animals with a calm, quiet presence that larger operations often struggle to maintain. For larger producers, it's about system design, creating pens and alleys that promote calm, natural movement. So, to put it all together, start with healthy, genetically sound cattle. Transition them slowly over 30 days to a high-energy, high-protein ration. For the next 60 days, provide that ration consistently, along with unlimited clean water and a quality mineral package. All of this must happen in a low-stress, comfortable environment. That is the blueprint for how they fatten cattle in just 90 days. It's not a shortcut. It's a focused, intensive strategy that requires knowledge, attention to detail, and a commitment to animal welfare. So there you have it, a practical, science-backed blueprint for efficient, rapid weight gain in your beef cattle. This isn't just theory. These are the principles that successful cattle operations use every single day. But knowledge is most powerful when it's shared and discussed. This channel is more than just videos. It's a community. We are all here to learn from each other and grow as responsible, successful cattle producers. If this video helped you, if you learned something you can apply on your farm, ranch, or in your studies, please do us a huge favor and hit that subscribe button for our channel, Biggest Bulls and Cow. And I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below. What is the biggest challenge you face with weight gain on your operation? Or maybe you have a fantastic tip that has worked for you. Share it with us. Let's start a conversation and help each other out. And finally, if you know another rancher, a student, or just a friend who could benefit from these insights, please share this video with them. Because here, 
we're not just raising cattle, we're raising standards. Thank you for watching, and let's grow together.